What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you how to color hair with Copic markers. So the Copic markers you'll need for this video are Y21, Y26, Y28, and E44. And just a little heads up, there are more Copic color combinations that I use to color hair and I'll show you that at the end of the video. But I'm just going to show you how to color like dirty blonde hair. So let's get to it. So I have a picture of a girl here and I'm going to color just her hair and then later on at the end of the video I'll time lapse the rest of the drawing so you can see everything with all the colors. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Y21 and I'm just going to color around the, uh, the colors of the hair. I'm basically adding a base color to everything. Just making sure you have a wet layer of marker to work on top of so that way blending will be a lot easier. Okay, and now I'm going to take my mid-tone, which is Y26. I'm just going to go around the dark areas of here. I'm going to make the brush strokes a bit big. Something just like this. I'm going to leave space in the middle because that's where the shine is going to be. And that's, that's why I added a base tone with the lightest color that I had here. So that way it can be sort of the shine of the hair. And that's what we're going to do throughout. Now we're going to come back to Y21 and we're going to blend those in. Because if we leave it just like this, it'll kind of dry up and then it'll be hard to blend it back into uh, the base tone. That's why we got to do this now. Okay, and now you kind of see a good gradient, but to some people you may not see a big amount of But to some people you may not see a big gradient going on. So that's why we have our Y28 So that way we can go around the darker parts of it like right here right here where it kind of stops Just more like the edges actually Or something like that or kind of where it kind of creases like down here And then up here a bit. And it's going to be dark over here since she's wearing a headband. Or hairband, whatever. And then some general shading that we would do. And then we're going to go back to Y26. And blend that back in. Because this Y28 color kind of seems a bit desaturated. And then... It's going to kind of seem desaturated compared to the uh, color that you get if you use Y26. So you want to kind of make that a bit more yellowish by using this, this Y26 color. And then going back to uh, Y21 and blending everything else back in again.
And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some E44 to the darkest, darkest parts. Unlike what we did with the Y26, we're gonna add the darkest parts like right up here towards the scalp. And we're not gonna add too much of it because we already added some darker places to it. But if your marker rig doesn't really stand out as much, you can, you can do that. But I don't wanna add too much to kinda, uh, I don't know, make it look weird. Y28 to blend that into each other. And there you go. That's how you color hair with Copic markers. But let me time lapse the rest of the drawing so you can see everything with all the colors. So that's how you color hair with Copic markers. Here are some of the colors I use to color hair. This is only a few of the colors that I use for uh, coloring hair. The list, This list does go on and on, I just don't have combinations yet. But these are just a few combos that I use for coloring natural hair. Like there's some brown, some pale browns, of course the yellow for blonde hair and, like, and a dark yellow for dirty blonde hair like we did today. And some red for like ginger and orange hair or whatever. And of course black. If you like today's video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like